What is going on guys? Excuse the uh, hair here, I definitely need to get a haircut, but what is up guys? Preston here, and starting off the vlog a little late, uh, if you guys can't see here, it is, uh, it is 12.01, so yeah, definitely uh, got a little behind today, uh, starting off the vlog right now for you guys, but nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep, I'm going to wake up, and I'm going to continue the vlog into tomorrow. Before I do that, I want you guys to know that this vlog is going to be a Q&A style. So what that means is I'm going to be answering questions throughout my whole entire day in all different places. So like I'll be, uh, you know, in my room and then I'll be down here, maybe sitting over there. Or I'll be drinking another protein shake. And I'll basically be answering all these questions that I see pop up a lot in the comments section. Along with the Q&A, I will be doing a chest, shoulders, and tricep workout during this video. Uh, definitely going to have a good time showing you guys what I do the only thing is, is that my bench is honestly my weakest movement when it comes to all of my other movements, including squat, deadlift, uh, bend, shoulder press. My bench is my weakest one. It's probably just because I started benching way late and I never really had a bench press at a gym, but that's what happens when you lift at a recreation center instead of an actual, like, you know, a 24 hour, like, LA Fitness. So I'm gonna show you guys all that I do. I'm gonna go for some heavy lifts today. Definitely feeling it. And I'll definitely be taking you guys along the way. So I will see you guys in the morning. Let's do this. Okay, so while I'm letting this water start to boil while I'm waiting for this pan to heat up, I figured I'd show you guys what vitamins I take because I do take a lot of vitamins uh, just to keep myself feeling good and uh, just because I feel like some foods nowadays are pretty processed so you don't get a lot of your vitamins. So right here we've got some vitamin C right here. Uh, these are about 1,000 uh, milligrams a piece and so that means that I take two of these. Um, it just kind of depends on your tolerance of vitamin C because there's a certain amount that if you take it will give you diarrhea and you'll get nauseous or you'll feel kind of weird and funky. Uh, so I figured out that like for me, 2,000 is good up to 6,000. That's as much as I can take. Uh, I'll normally take 6,000 if like I'm getting a cold or I'm starting to get sick and I want to fight that. But to maintain, 2,000 works great for me. Next, uh, we have got some right here, Sovereign Silver. Uh, I take this every day. Uh, this is actually a spritzer because I actually had tonsillitis. Uh, back during winter I just randomly got it for like no reason first time ever having it and so basically what I did was I took silver and I took vitamin C and I did a bunch of other stuff like uh, massaging like, like like the back of my neck which is a, a pressure point which will like release the pressure on the tonsils did a bunch of stuff but basically that's why I now still I still take silver every day another one we have here is I take RM10 this one right here we of course got vitamin D and I take about 4,000 IU a day and lastly we have got this right here which is fish oil Do not laugh at me guys, but this is just like a little bit of, you know, four eggs. Uh, it doesn't look that small on camera, but it's actually like pretty small compared to what I normally eat, which is like five to eight eggs, depending on how I feel. Uh, and they're whole eggs too, and they're large. So it normally fills up a whole plate, but today I just, I don't know, I'm just not very hungry. Uh, just probably just not really feeling it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just have a lot more oatmeal today, which as you guys can see, I prepared, I believe, about a cup of oats. Uh, it kind of depends on it, the, the second scoop. I kind of took half. Uh, so it's about like really close to about a cup of oats. Uh, so definitely ready to destroy that. But yeah, guys, that right there. I mean, what is that? What is that? I feel so sad right now. I want to say one thing quick too is that I also don't eat oatmeal every single day. I know there's a lot of guys that have like a strict regime for eating oatmeal. I personally do not have that strict regime for eating oatmeal, but I do like to make oatmeal taste a little bit better. So I'm going to show you guys what I put on it. And what I do put in my oatmeal is I put honey, I put peanut butter. Okay, okay guys, these two things right here will change your oatmeal eating life forever. Oh, and then also I forgot to add that I also put in butter. Alright guys, so there's the finished product. We got four eggs, and we've got about a cup of oats. Definitely ready to chow down. You know guys, this is like honestly like a really small meal for me. But like, you know, 
I thought I was hungry this morning, but then my hunger left, and so now I'm left with not eating that much, but it's okay. I'm working out tonight around 7 p.m., so that gives me plenty of time to like carve up and to eat all the food I need to have a really strong session for you guys for chest toes and triceps. It's gonna be good. All right guys, so I just finished our breakfast and now it's time for me to start studying. But before I do that, I want to answer a question that I get asked a lot and that I see in the comments section the most. The question is, what is my diet like and uh, you know, how does it keep me shredded and stuff like that? Guys, my diet is actually really simple and there's nothing special whatsoever about it. I make sure to hit 6,000 to 5,000 calories a day, which is a lot. I eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. My diet consists of just very clean foods like, you know, plain chicken, plain beef, plain rice, plain pasta. You know, I don't try to always eat plain. There's just moments where I do eat plain, but I mean, I add red sauce, white sauce, soy sauce, curry sauce. I mean, I really do not track at all and I eat whatever really I want, but they're all like natural, organic, um, healthy foods. So guys, that's basically what my diet's like. Maybe one day I'll show you guys a full on Full day of eating, show you guys every meal I eat, but for right now, I gotta get studying. It is my history final. I have three days to get this done, so I wanna try and knock it out, maybe even today. Wish me luck, guys, and I'm gonna try not to shoot my head off. All right, guys, so still going at it. Uh, it's about three, four hours, four hours later, uh, and we are uh, still going strong on the history final. Um, I'm sitting downstairs now, gotta get a change of scenery. And uh, yeah, so we are about three hours until the workout. I'll see you guys uh, in the next clip. I just want you guys to know that if I don't come back after writing this freaking paper, that I may have died due to a history overload. Like, what is life? All right, guys, so as you can see, it is 5.04. Started our homework at about 11 a.m. Six hours of homework, done. So, I'm not having another lunch break. I didn't record earlier, but I did have a lunch break. I had some chicken and this leftover Thai pasta. So I'm gonna have that once again, same meal. But before we do that, I have not even stepped outside all day today to see if it's even a nice day. I mean, I can see that it's sunny out, obviously, but wow, it is perfect out. Um, looking a little bit pale, somewhat. I gotta get out in the sun some more, but you know, finals will do that to you. But check it out, looking really nice. We got some blue sky, if it'll focus there, there we go, look at that. Definitely a beautiful day here in Oregon. The summer is looking to be really nice. We had an extremely uh, long winter here. It was crazy, we had snow, which we like don't get very often. We had like a whole, like almost two full weeks of uh, blizzards. Or not really blizzards, well it felt like a blizzard to us, but it was just hardcore snow. Um, so many feet, it was crazy. And uh, so I'm definitely ready for the sun to be out. There's the meal I prepared. Uh, this is about a chicken breast and a half. They're kind of small though. Uh, about a cup of rice, I'd say. Maybe a little bit under. And then the leftover of this Thai or whatever kind of pasta it is. All I know is, that shit tastes good. Alright guys, so it's about an hour later since you guys last saw that last clip, and I absolutely demolished that freaking plate of food. It was freaking amazing, and now I am just here relaxing on the couch until I head out to the gym. Now, I'm going to pick up my buddy David. He's a good friend of mine. We actually work together, and when I go pick him up, we're going to answer a question in the car on the way to the gym, and that question is, does deadlifting or any other like kind of compound leg exercise like squatting or, heck, I, I've actually even heard non-leg exercises like does uh, shoulder press or does bench press do any of these lifts is there a single lift that affects your waist size I get asked this question a lot and most of the time it's like does deadlifting does squatting not really bench or uh, shoulder press but I have heard it before do these things make your waist bigger and I think that it's time for me to myth bust this with you guys and so yeah wait for the answer you guys are gonna love it it's so simple I don't know if you guys just saw, but 
my freaking protein shake just like dripped out of this because this wasn't on tight enough. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend. What up, man? What's up, bro? What's happening? What's up? You're going to have a camera in your face the whole time. Yeah. What's up? I have a camera what's in my up? face the yes. whole time. This is David. Hey, what's going on, guys? He's a shredder. <laughs> he knows exactly what's up. Uh, all right, here all right, we, well, we got to set this, this up somewhere. All right, we're doing this. <laughs> That. Right. It's only on oh, you. that's like right. <laughs> that's like right on. <laughs> I think deadlifting affects your waist. Okay. No, I don't. It's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> no, yeah. Everybody no. thinks it affect. They think like certain exercises affect your waist, and this is like such a great camera setup. It's like jumping around. It's no, I don't think it affects your waist size whatsoever. Uh, people think that it does, but it doesn't. That's just a myth. There's no studies that prove it does or prove that it doesn't. So. Well, there you have it. David's All gonna right. take over this channel. Well, no, I'm not taking over it. He's now. he's gonna become like I'm just, new I'm face. just here to I'm just here to uh, I'm here for moral support. Are you are you ready for this workout? I uh, I think I'm ready. I had like three cups of coffee here. Holy I'm like, shit! In the darkness we found love. We're bound to be made a promise to ourselves. Be braver. Then 20 million soldiers in the world at night The time they feel it Are we ever gonna be here again? How do you know? windshield wiper maneuver at me. Everybody's walking where I want to drive. There's a fuck ton of people here and I'm worried. Dude. Because I came I late. Don't, I don't know that this is going to work. And if I'm recording, like, they're uh, going to sh- going to be like, um, can that be in your frame? It'll be in the frame. Like, uh, oh god. Alright, wish right, us well, luck. We'll s okay, if this doesn't work out, you guys are not going to see any training footage. We're going to try If this out. does work out, enjoy the workout. We're, I'm Cracked out on caffe. <laughs> caf uh, I'm, I'm cracked out on caffe, man. Caffy. Okay, we're gonna try to record. Let's go. <laughs>
think no, I think we all know what weight you need to go with. These guys right here. Well, that might be too easy. Yep. Try it. That'd be way too easy. I even like. I don't, I don't want to attempt. I don't want to attempt. I don't want to chuck it. I refuse to even try to attempt. David just attempted a a weight that was that was not that was not very good for him and in, in his exact words it was I can't get that up. <laughs> that sounds really bad. <laughs> Thank you
guys. Workout complete. How, how do you feel? Uh, I feel good. It feels good. I feel fucking dead. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, thanks, David. Appreciate no the support, man. I got you. Uh, uh, good, good workout. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, David over here just said it's time for a fucking beer. What is life? I don't even know, bro. That's that's too much. About the gym. Just went to the gym, I heard the beer. What the hell? Dude, no. <laughs> He's just like, you know, just went to the gym. I need to get myself a beer. Now we're in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so next question I get asked, and I want his opinion on this. I want your opinion. You want my opinion. Alright, you ready? <laughs> Are you guys ready? David? Am I natural? Are you natural? Am, am I natty? Are you natty? Am I natty, bro? <laughs> am I on the roids? Well, let's try to never say that again. Am but, I natty, bro? But yes, you're, you're natty, bro. Okay, I'm, I'm natty. So for all you haters out there who think I'm on steroids, thank you because you boost my confidence so much. It is unbelievable. But then again, I mean, like that delt right there, I mean, come on, that looks like roids. Alright, well. <laughs> <laughs> One more question I'm gonna I'm gonna answer. Fuck, I lost it. We're waiting. It's gone. <laughs> I lost it. Alright, we're going yeah. home. Alright. Alright guys, I'm officially home and that workout was pretty good, honestly. I gotta say, I didn't push the numbers I, I wanted to do today. Uh, I had a nasty uh, four to five reps with 185 on the bar, which is really light normally for me, but I was only able to get four to five reps at the spot. When normally I could do that for like 10 no spots. So I don't know what was going on today. That was absolutely just diminishing to me. But either way, we can pull some more numbers or push some more numbers in the future when my mentally, you know, when mentally I'm there. Because physically I was great today. Mentally a little tired from all the studying, but either way, we're gonna make up for it in the future. So yeah guys, before I go and uh, chow down and eat some food and then pass the hell out, I wanna just answer one question is what is my training like? And you guys just saw what my chest day is like. Uh, my back and bicep day I will have coming out very soon and my leg day is already on my channel, but I, I do a push-pull leg split and I train Sunday through Friday with Saturdays as my off day. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely gonna be uploading a lot more. Uh, we're about to hit 6,000 subscribers, so thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for some more videos. I'll talk to you guys later.